Hello, and welcome to my guide on uninstalling Battletech. Wait, you need a guide for this? Well, <laughs> turns out one does not simply right click Battletech and choose uninstall. So, from painful experience, I have found out that if you make a hardware change, or you mod your game, or something goes wrong somewhere, um, and you think to yourself, I will fix that problem by uninstalling Battletech and reinstalling it, and then your problem doesn't go away. Well, it's because this game does not uninstall cleanly. To uninstall this game cleanly requires actually a fair bit of expertise. So, I am here to take you through this process. Now, this will involve entering directories which you should not normally fiddle. So, follow the instructions very, very carefully because I do not want anybody to destabilize their system because they started deleting things that they shouldn't delete. Okay, with that stern warning out of the way, I shall take you through the process of uninstalling Battletech. So the first thing to do is to go to Battletech, right click, and choose Properties. In the properties of your Battletech, there is an option that says enable steam cloud synchronization for Battletech <coughs> untick this box and leave it unticked forever seriously you don't need this and it just makes the problems worse if you ever re-enable it it will ask you the question as to whether you want to keep your data or the data in the cloud keep your data but personally I can't see a reason why you would leave this ticked but it is ticked by default you need to untick it next thing you need to do and I'm just belaboring the point here for everyone who is uh, pausing this video repeatedly go back to Battletech go back to properties go to local files and browse local files this is the first directory which you need to bring up to do a clean uninstallation okay this is our first directory which on my machine is quite a complicated directory but on your machine by default it will be something on the lines of C backslash Steam backslash a few other folders common Battletech. This is the first folder you need open, keep this open. Okay? Do not close this folder. So there it is. Okay? Next step. <clears throat> you will need to go to the save game directory which is hidden in the steam proper directory so where your copy of steam is installed that is where this extra folder is hidden so let's minimize this folder for now we've got our first folder go to your steam shortcut and right click it and select open file location if your operating system does not support open file location or you don't have the update installed that provides you with this option go to properties and under the shortcut properties it will tell you where steam is you can then copy the start in which I will do now and then you can go to your computer and paste this will bring you to your steam directory in your steam directory you want to scroll down to user data select your steam ID this folder will probably have only one ID in it um, I have multiple steam accounts so I have lots of IDs and then you want to select the folder 637090 this is the Battletech folder and the easiest way to find it is if you've just played Battletech if you sort by date modified it should rise to the top because it's been recently modified by you playing Battletech this is the second directory that you need to find so far pretty simple minimize this directory keep it open you need to keep all of these directories open do not close them until you are instructed to do so the third and final directory is the reason why everyone comes unstuck and as a computer engineer I thought about this for a half an hour and then I remembered that certain games do this they dump things in app data app data is a hidden system folder which you cannot normally access and you cannot get to by any normal means however we have to go in there and and bring up a particular folder because we're gonna need to delete it 
this is the step that is getting everybody. So follow this instruction very carefully if you want to uninstall Battletech cleanly. The first thing you need to do is go to your user directory. The easiest way usually to get to your user directory is to open up my documents or something like that. On my computer, which is obviously Windows 7, uh, a, a more direct way to get to the user directory is to simply go to C. In fact, you can even just type my documents in the in the address bar and you'll get it. There we go. So if I bring up the address here, you'll see it's C users admin documents. Yours might be C users administrator documents or any any sort of combination of things, but typically it's this. I think in Windows 10 it might be somewhere slightly different. If you go to my documents and bring up the address bar, you should be able to find your user directory. You'll know that you've hit the jackpot when if you delete documents and just put your name, you will get um, a load of stuff like my desktop, my favorites, my links, blah, 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 blah. Okay. In here, I already have app data because I've been there before, but this directory is a secret directory and you cannot normally get to it via this method. So what you have to do is manually in the address bar type app data like this and press return and you will get the app data folder. There is no other way to get this folder the first time because it is a secret folder. <coughs> Once you are here, you will have these three directories, local, local, low and roaming it is local because it's local to your machine and you will see that various applications have actually dumped a load of stuff in this directory whatever you do do not delete or touch anything in any of these directories that I have not specifically told you to delete or touch unless you know precisely what you are doing you can cause system instability by by flailing around in here don't do it just follow these instructions very carefully replay them as many times as you need to in the app data local directory you will find two harebrained schemes folders if you have any old harebrained schemes games or you'll probably just find this one without the space the one with the space seems to be the first couple of games which is uh, Shadowrun which I'm gonna leave alone and the one without the space is Battletech this folder we will need to delete after we have uninstalled so now we have these three directories Let's bring them all up. And the last one is uh, this one. Okay, so these are our three directories. We just go over them again quickly. We have the app data local folder where the harebrained schemes folder is without the space. We have the game location which we got to by going to Steam properties browse local files and within Steam itself we have the hidden folder, or not hidden, but the relatively sort of mid-level difficulty to find folder where your save games are kept. This app data folder obviously is the hidden folder. Now what you need to do is go back to Battletech, right click and uninstall the game. Once the game has uninstalled you need to delete, if they still exist, you need to delete, and they will, you need to delete this folder, Hairbrain Schemes, delete this folder, then close app data and never go back there. Likewise, go up on your Battletech directory back to common. If Battletech as a directory still exists, which it should do, delete it. If it's gone, great. The final step is to go into the user data folder and delete 637090. This will delete all of your save games. However, unfortunately, the way save games work, if you have a particular configuration or whatever <coughs> in your save games, and then you load up a different version of Battletech, and this has happened to people who have just played the base game, they've gone from version 1 to version 1.1, and in the intervening time they've changed their graphics card or, or something, they've done something, or maybe they haven't even done something, I'm, I mean I'm not even going to presume that, but something's happened and the game no longer works. And unfortunately if you don't purge the save games, I found that after after hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of trial and error in the virtual box figuring out how precisely this works, I find that if you don't delete your save games you will um, come unstuck. So 
this folder 637090 needs to also be deleted. Then close that as well. So the uninstall is complete. All three of the target folders have been deleted. Now Battletech is actually cleanly uninstalled. You can reinstall the game, add your favorite mods or not, just play the base 1.1 game and it should work. Should work. If it worked before and 1.1 made it not work, this will almost certainly fix it. And I had about 10 or 15 people tell me, um, great, it works again, so happy. But unfortunately you will lose your save game, so that's the only thing. And this cleanly uninstalls Battletech. <laughs> one, one does not, I'm afraid, simply right click and uninstall Battletech, unfortunately. I hope HBS fixes this at some point because it, it isn't good, but it, it everyone does this, unfortunately. Everyone puts stuff in app data, and in this case it can break your installation, or I suppose break your uninstallation. Um, yeah, and until I deleted that folder, and the first I had to twig in my mind that it might be writing files there, that's just something that comes from experience as a computer engineer, um, I was stuck in a position where I uninstalled and reinstalled the game and it was just broken and I was just working it out and then I loaded the whole lot into a virtual system and used it to isolate files and look at changes and that's how I worked out that it was doing this I do not expect any normal person to be able to do this so this guide hopefully has made it easy for you to completely uninstall the game then you can reinstall the game and it should work I hope this guide helped you remember please please be very careful in the app data folder and even if you see old games in there that you've previously uninstalled and you think, ah, it might be safe to delete that, just don't, don't touch it, okay? Leave it alone. And uh, I'll see you next time.